On Gemini, it's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your uh, What Are Their True Intentions uh, video for June 2020. I hope all is well with you guys and I hope you're enjoying your birthday season. Happy birthday to all of my May Gemini Massive. Hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend. It's like 90 degrees here in New York where I'm at. It's just uh, really um, summertime, okay? But, uh, <clears throat> you know, this is beautiful weather. I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm happy about it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your season. If you want to book a reading with me, my information is in the box below. Right now, all throughout Gemini season, all Gemini ascending signs, Gemini sun signs, Gemini moon, Gemini uh, in Venus, you all get 50% uh, off of tarot card readings numbers two, three, and four. You'll see that I offer um, three separate, in the, in the directions below, there's three separate areas. There's a reading for compatibility, there's a section for compatibility analysis, there's a second section for um, natal chart analysis, and then the third section at the bottom is for the tarot card readings. There's five tarot card readings, numbers two, three, and four. If you are a Gemini sun, moon, rising, or Venus, even Gemini north node, <clears throat> I'll include that too. Gemini North Node 2. You get 50% off of readings 2, 3, and 4 all throughout Gemini season. So hit me up. We're going to see how this person feels about you. Okay? This is not going to resonate with every Gemini. Especially if you're not dealing with anyone. If you're not dealing with anyone, then it's not resonating with you. Okay? Um, but this is just general. So take what resonates. Leave the rest. Um, I'm going to probably do um, another general love. I'm going to do a general love reading for Gemini as well. So if this doesn't resonate with you, maybe the general reading will. If it doesn't, then check out some of the other uh, readings that I've done, some of the other retrograde readings, and um, see if that fits. If not, then I just might not be, you know, the reader for you. You may want to check out somebody else on YouTube, but it's okay. Or come back, you know, next month. Let's see what we got for you, Gemini. For your birthday season. The overall energy for the spread I'm going to do for you. Overall energy is justice in reverse. Major arcana. This is um, Libra energy. Okay. And this is uh, someone not being treated fairly. It's either you or the other person. So if you are someone who is not a Gemini, you're watching because you're dealing with a Gemini, you may need to switch the roles. I mean, Gemini may even need to switch the roles because this is very general. It is not specific to an uh, individual, okay? So justice. Justice talks about being treated unfairly, someone being lied to, someone being denied, um, being denied being, you know, the truth, dishonesty. This could also represent court decisions, court cases, um, matters in the judicial system as well. Um, when it's in reverse, it may not be going in your favor or it may not go in your favor. Um, but we're going to take a look and see what's going on here. This could tell me that some of you may be going through divorce. Some of you could be going through paternity testing. Some of you could be um, involved in child support cases. Um, some of you may be involved in domestic violence cases. Um, you know, whatever it could be in reference to um, someone's true intent towards you. This doesn't necessarily have to be love. This could be a landlord-tenant scenario. Um, this could be a co-worker scenario, okay? Um, but generally, this is done for love, okay? So look at it from all angles. Now, the current situation with you and this person is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? The Eight of Pentacles energy in reverse. This talks about... Um, uh, energy of someone who maybe just doesn't want to try anymore someone who just doesn't have any ambition someone who just doesn't feel that it's worth putting the work in they just don't have an interest or desire in it okay so this is the situation here so this is what your understanding is or you and your person have a general understanding that this is what's going on in your situation it's like you don't want to put any more effort or energy into it with that eight of pentacles in reverse um, the Eight of Pentacles also represents that there is some work that needs to be done. Now, um, if you want to do the work, it can go two ways. It can represent the fact that there's work that needs to be done. 
and then you know you and your person could sit down and figure out what it is that you're going to do moving forward but this could also represent the fact that someone is saying no i'm not putting any more work into this this is a done deal it's a wrap for me i've expended as much energy into this as i'm going to okay um if this is a work situation because this is about pentacles this could represent someone losing their job and or someone quitting or someone who just does the bare basics this is like okay i got a job to pay the bills that's all it is. It's nothing that I'm really passionate about or really love. Now, how this person feels about the situation overall, because this card just represented what's going on with you and this person. So, you know, somebody could be feeling that things are not being fair. Someone, someone could be feeling like they're not tr being treated fairly because maybe somebody's not putting in work. Or somebody doesn't want to put in work because they feel they're not being treated fair. So it's like, why should I put in work with somebody who's not treating me fair or not, you know... Why should I do any extra? If this is at work, maybe you're feeling um, unjust in a situation. And as a result, it's like you're not putting any work into it. How this person feels, this other person feels about the situation is the Nine of Swords reversed. Okay, this is your energy, Gemini. So this person feels as if there's a relief here. They're feeling relief. They're feeling like the torment or the frustration or the mental anguish, you know, this was constantly on their mind. It's like they're letting it go. They're saying, you know what, um, you know the serenity, play, the serenity prayer, you know, where people just say, you know what, I'll accept the things that I can, you know, give me the serenity to accept the things that I can't change and the change that, you know, how it works. You're basically accepting the fact that there's some things that you can't change. You're not going to put in any effort into it. You're not going to try to force your hand on something. You're letting it go. And with the swords, that means your thoughts, your ideas, your views on something. So you're just like not going to think about it anymore. When this card is in the upright, this represents someone who's constantly thinking about a situation. It's always on their mind. It could be causing them anxiety, stress, things like that. But when it's in reverse, it's like, you know what? I'm not stressing about it anymore. I'm done with it. Now, how this person feels about you deep down um, that they're not revealing is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles represents the fact that someone looks at you as if you are um, independent. You're able to take care of yourself. You're able to do what it is that you need. To, you can provide all of your needs financially. Um, they could look at you as someone who's a business owner, who's an entrepreneur, or someone who may be a, a high-ranking executive, um, or just someone who's financially stable and independent and can, and can provide whatever it is that they need to provide. This is how this person sees you deep down. Now, is this person going to walk their talk? Are they going to keep their word to you based on what they're telling you? We have the Five of Cups energy here. Now, this is Scorpio energy. This Five of Cups energy talks to me about them going through some changes. This person is going through a transformation in reference to this relationship or this scenario. Um, they are in mourning about it. They are feeling a great sadness, a deep loss um, with this situation here. They do have, you know, other things to tend to or other responsibilities. They may even have another person. But right now they're feeling as though, and I'm getting strongly that they could very well either they have another person, these two cups here. Like if you look at this person, you see the little tear coming down their eye. They're mourning the loss of these three spilled cups. So that could be your relationship. But they have these two other cups that are full as well. So these could be if you guys have children together, they have children that they have love for and have to attend to. Or it could be that they have another lover. They had to choose. All right. Your situation is not going well. So there's someone else there who's interested in them and showing interest in them. But right now they're in mourning. They're in great loss. They're grieving the, the connection, the loss of the cups. Um, what external factors would keep you and this person from reconnecting should you decide you want to reconnect? We have the Three of Cups in Reverse. This is Cancerian Energy. The Three of Cups in Reverse talks to me about gossip, someone pretending to be a friend when they're really not, someone who, you know, is acting like they're happy for you and they're, and they're happy about what's going on with you, but they're really not. They're just faking the funk, so to speak. Um, this, you know, they could be gossiping about you, talking about you. Um, you know, this could also be the fact that, you know, if you guys tried to work things out, what would keep you from being serious is that somebody is just not putting in any effort and any work. And they could just be out partying and drinking and having fun and doing whatever. You know, this is the party card when it's in reverse. 
you know, excessive partying, drinking, celebrating, you know, just doing whatever, you know, while and out having a good time, but mostly, um, you know, partying, drinking, gossip, that type of energy, okay? No real support, you know, so this person's not going to give me any support to you in any way, shape, or form, especially emotional support. Now, if you guys did try to work things out and you got back together six to eight weeks from now, what would happen? We have the, what is this? The six of wands in reverse. All right, this is Leo energy. This is energy of a situation where there will not be victory. You will not win in this situation. It will not work out for you. And it will not work out for you and this person. Things will not go in your favor. Again, these two cards here, and this, this could talk about slander as well. Um, someone's ego. Someone has a large ego. Okay? So, you know, this could be somebody who likes to party and drink. They hang out with the wrong crowd. They talk crap about people. Um, this is somebody who doesn't want anything serious. Um, they pay attention to the wrong things. You know, people give them attention for the wrong things that they do instead of, you know, giving them attention for the positive things that they do. And so the wrong things that they do could be partying, drinking, smoking, talking garbage about people, gossip, that type of thing. So this person could just be talking, you know, talking trash about you because you're not putting in any effort into the situation anymore. You gave you gave up. You gave up. So they're seeing you as, okay, you're happy without me is what I'm getting here. That's the energy I'm getting. You're happy without me. And this person sees that and they don't like that. But yet this person could be dealing with someone else on the side. Um, or this could be someone who has your children and they have your children to attend to. Now, I don't know what the injustice was that went down. But let's take a look and see. If we can figure out what else is going on with you and this person. So why is this the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse? Uh, we have the Three of... Well, it's Joyfulness. This is my Three of Cups card. But it's joyfulness as far as the uh, major arcana. Well, not major arcana, but as far as the Sibylla deck. So this is telling me that um, this person is not putting in any work anymore because it doesn't make them happy. You know, they have no intention of, of you know, you could be dealing with someone who just wants to party and have fun. And they have no intention of changing that about themselves. None whatsoever. Now, as far as um, how this person feels about the situation in general here, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So this person is no longer, they were stressed out about the situation. They really, it really was on their mind heavily. Um, but they feel like, you know, maybe you're not going to give up your party type ways or they're not going to give up their party type ways. Yeah, see, Fortune. We have Fortune here. So this person, it's like you feel like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it, you know, and this has put you in a good mood. It's put you in a fortunate situation because it, it was very unfortunate that you were stressing about this. Now, how this person feels about you deep down, because this is how they feel about the situation overall. They feel like now that you're out of their hair or you feel like now that they're out of their hair, this is how they feel about you. Now that you're out of their hair, you know, good things are happening for them. So this is just somebody who's looking at you like, you know, you're just someone who pretty much parties and jumps around and jokes around and, and is not serious about a relationship. How they feel about you deep down is the Nine of Pentacles energy here. We have that clarified with the Malayday card. So um, they just feel that you're not mentally. <laughs> what I'm getting from this is, you know, they feel like you're. This could be, you know, because they feel like you're a party person that you're recovering. You know, or that you're somebody who, um, you know, is just not well in some way, shape, or form. But we'll clarify that a little bit more in detail. But when I look at this, this is somebody who's in bed, somebody who's not able to, they're not able to do for themselves or to do anything else. It's like they, it looks, it's like you play helpless is what I'm getting here. But in reality, you can take care of yourself. It's like there's a game being played here is what I get. 
It's like they see you as somebody who you're you're fine. You don't need anybody to take care of you. You're good to go. And then they have that clarified with this card here, which shows somebody who's, you know, needs somebody to take care of them. So it's like they're looking at you like, okay, well, you this, par this person, all they do is party and drink. They can take care of themselves, but they come to me for money or they come to me for what have you. Now, is this person going to walk their talk? They're, they're actually, you know, grieving the relationship because they see it as over. We have that clarified with melancholy, but it came out in reverse. All right, so this person is grieving the relationship, but it's like they're not, hmm, how can I say this? Melancholy is like when you, you know, you're sad for no reason. It's like this person, they know why they're upset. They know that this is not going to work out. And so, you know, they put time and effort in. And so they realize that it, it's a must do. You know, it's, it's, it's not like they're sitting around waiting for this to fix. They know that it's over. Now, what other outside influences would keep you and this person from working things out? We have the three of cups in reverse. This would be the, the partying, the overindulging, okay, which we got here. Okay, wanting to hang out, wanting to be, you know, single, wanting to have multiple partners. We have that clarified with merchant, okay? So this person, the outside factors or outside influences that would keep you guys from, um, you know, connecting if you decided to work things out would be that this person is not supportive financially. The merchant card talks about a business owner, someone who um, is looking to make money. Someone who's looking out on the horizon, looking at what options they have, what opportunities they have to make money. And it's like you're not giving them any support at all. You're not supporting them as a friend. You don't support them financially if you guys lived in a home together. Now, six to eight weeks if you got together with this person or you tried to work things out, what would happen? We have faithfulness. But that's clarifying the six of wands in reverse. So this person would be faithful to what they wanted, okay? And whatever it is that they want to do, it may not be something that you um, feel is fair and is just as far as the relationship is concerned, right? So we have the Empress in reverse here, okay? The Empress in reverse and justice. So with the Empress in reverse, this is somebody who could be a person who claims that they're financially you know that they're independent they don't have money to do this they don't have money to do that but with the moon card in reverse here we have the king of pentacles because this is, this is somebody who could be lying about the money they have they're not being honest about what they have this person is somebody who like i said with the nine of cup nine of pentacles energy this is someone who's self-sufficient who can take care of themselves but they play as if they can't so this is somebody who plays on people for money is what i'm getting here for some of you this person is not fair and not just, um, you know, with the Empress in reverse. This is somebody who could be money hungry, um, greedy, materialistic. And we have the moon card in reverse here, which is revealing that this person has finances with the King of Pentacles. They're very stable. All right. These, these two cards are telling me they are financially. But they could be pretending that they're not. Maybe this is somebody who wants to spend other people's money, but doesn't want to, but doesn't want to spend theirs. And this could be someone who's moving morally incorrect and unjust with the judgment card in reverse. Okay, this is somebody who likes to take advantage of people, is what I'm getting here. So you're getting rid of this person, is what I'm showing here. You're mourning the loss of this person. You're getting rid of them, or they're sad that you're cutting them off. You know, but they see you as somebody who's financially successful, somebody who would, you know, they were trying, it looks like they were just basically trying to pull a wool over your eyes, trying to get what they could get from you. They see you as somebody who, you know, this card, like I said, it tells me someone's playing tricks on you, trying to play tricks on you, is what I'm getting here with this person. It's like, you got the fortune card here, you got the nine of pentacles, you have the um, king of pentacles. So they see you and you have the eight of pentacles. They don't want to, eight of pentacles in reverse, they don't want to put any work into the situation at all. They just want you to, this is somebody who just wants to lay up and wants you to take care of them, is what I'm getting here. Yep, see, <laughs> see this, this is um, the knave of pentacles. You see how he has his hand out? Message about money. It's like, oh, you have money? Okay, uh, may I have some? 
But this is how they are. This is what truly they are. The moon card showed up twice in reverse. So this is revealing what their hidden agenda is. They're just communicating with people or talking to you to get whatever they can get financially from you. So you need to be careful, Gemini. Okay? I don't know if this is a person that you know. Well, it is somebody you know. Could be somebody you're dealing with now or somebody you're in the process of ending things with. We have the Knight of Us, Knight of Cups reverse. As well as the Six of Wands energy. So yeah, this is how this person feels about your situation in general. It's like, you know, um, they're like, okay, good riddance. This person was stressing me out. Or it could have been stressful for them trying to get money from you. You know, maybe you were giving them the hard, a hard time telling you, no, get a job. But this person has other options, so they can go to other people. Knight of Cups in reverse, Ten of Swords. So yeah, this person was deceitful. You know, they were gluttonous. They were being very greedy, pretending that they didn't have... They feel like, okay... This person feels like you betrayed them. And this is not wish fulfillment because you wouldn't take care of them. This is an individual, boy. We got the Three of Cups of reversed again and the Six of Cups. So this is you mourning the loss of this situation, realizing that there's nothing you can do about it. You know, um, with the Three of Cups in reverse, you do not want to reunite with this person. And this is someone who, um, with the Six of Cups, is from your past. Okay, this could you, or you could just be looking at this person like they're very immature. These two of cup, this two, this six of cups energy. You see the two people in here. They could represent the children that you have with this person. Like I said, with the three of cups here, this is the relationship, but you may have two children. So it could be representing the two children that this person has to take care of with no support. Got the merchant card here. Clarify with the four of wands in reverse. And the Seven of Cups. So it's like, yeah, this person is, um, as far as, you know, what other external factors would get in the way if you guys got back together, it's like this person would constantly be moving. They're not, a, they don't have a steady place to live is what I'm getting here. Um, and this person does like to drink and get high a lot. So this is just someone who's really ir irresponsible. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So six to eight weeks from now, if you were to get back with this person, what would happen then? It would be, you know, you would the situation would fall apart because someone's not being faithful. This person can't be faithful. You would end up leaving them, and then you would end up deciding to go somewhere else. Like, this person is just not mature, is what I'm getting. I'm getting someone who's very immature, who doesn't want to work, don't want to put in the effort in a relationship. This is somebody who just wants to party and, and have fun. Let's see what messages of advice we got for you with this person. What messages for Gemini? What advice do you have for Gemini? Any messages? What messages do you have for Gemini? Fate. So this was a destined partnership. This was a partnership that was here to teach you a lesson. Especially if you have children with this person. Um, it's just that some people are just not going to grow up no matter what. They're just not, no, many, no matter how many chances you give a person. Some people, they're just built like that. They're just built to live off of other people and to take advantage of other people. Children. So like I said, for some of you, you have children. This is the most important part to your relationship, is your children. And you're going to need some support. You're going to need to lean on your friends during this time. A lot of you, like I said, if you have children and you're a single parent, you know, you are going to maybe need someone. You're going to need someone to help you from time to time. Okay, because this person is looking at you like, oh, well... They got money. They'll be good. They'll be all right. You know, and then they play, oh, when it's time for them to go to work. Oh, I don't feel well. Or, oh, I'm not, I'm, you know, oh, they didn't call me back for the interview. Or, you know, oh, I'm sick. And, you know, this type of thing. You know, they're playing like something may be wrong with them. 
The only thing wrong with them is they like to drink too much or get high or, you know what I mean? This is what I'm getting here. Like, this is, this is a scam artist you're dealing with. Somebody who just likes to play games. They want someone to take care of them. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. Let me know if this resonated in the comments. Click the like button if this did resonate. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I post again. Alright, peace out, Gemini.